Hi, this is Summer with Summer's Tips and Stitches, and this is Vlogmas Day 7. So I'm going to open up the drawer. We can get that done, the advent calendar drawer. Ooh, we're starting to get a bit of the message. I'm sorry to say, you guys, I have not done yesterday's. I'm thinking that when I'm done with this video, making this clip, and while it's uploading, I might start yesterday's and hopefully maybe get into today's. Um, here is the stitch marker. That's what we get. I love this one. And one thing I'm really happy that Bella Coco has done, which I'm going to show you guys. She started using bigger lobster claws. I appreciate that. I don't know if it's just my fingers are big, but sometimes it was hard to open them. That's our first stitch marker for this drawer, for this advent calendar this season. And this color, I want to say this looks like that shrimp color that she had before. Yep, shrimp foam. So we have more shrimp foam. I am, I've not done any of the mini makes. And I didn't do the sixth square or today's square. The last square I did was this, I hate this square, this one here. It was so hard. It looks so messy to me. I keep thinking about pulling it out and redoing it. I'm not a fan of the I, of pulling the yarn through like this. I'm not just a fan of that. I don't know. Am I fussy? But anyway, uh, I've got to get these on the blocking board, and I got to do the last two. Plus, there was a little bit of mistake. Some people said in day six is square. Where okay, so what Bella Coco does or Sarah Jean does is half of the blanket she does in tutorials and then the other half, and this happened last year, you would do it but with different colors. So she says main color, contrasting color. And so somehow she got a little mixed up and ended up, instead of saying, you know, do this with the main color, I guess she said contrasting color. So the squares ended up, you followed the tutorial rather than reading the pattern there's some I mean it looks fine to me I barely can tell the difference but I'm not really super good at reading some patterns are hard to read for me the ones that use more abbreviation than words and then especially since they're UK terms it's not just switching double crochet to treble crochet sometimes they say like we say front post double crochet they don't call it a front post double crochet like they've changed a lot of their abbreviations they also say miss a stitch instead of skip a stitch. And so there's a lot of verbiage that's different. And so sometimes it's easier for me just to watch her videos than it is to read the patterns. But it's a basic granny, so I don't know how hard that can be. Um, yes, so today was a very long day at school. My teacher's aide was absent, so I had a sub teacher's aide in there, which was excitable plus because we have we're having extra Christmas music concert we're having a music concert so we're having extra music practices which are kind of throwing our days off I mean it doesn't take much to get a second grader fired up right <laughs> so I'm just was starting to feel a little sad today because I realized as I was sitting in my classroom um, I have done nothing at my house for decorations. So then when I was taking the big kids to youth group, I decided I was going to take a little bit of a drive through the neighborhood and show you guys the Christmas lights. I love Oshkosh just happens even for Halloween. Um, for Halloween and Christmas, they go full bore into decorating. So that's your next bit. The next bit of this video will just be me driving around the neighborhood and showing you some of the Christmas lights. It actually looks way better in real life than I think it was looking in the videos. Plus every time I turned on my camera, it turned, because of the, how dark it was, it turned on the spotlight. But I don't wanna make that all the time for not. So I'm sorry if you think it's terrible, <laughs> but I wanted to show you the lights because I love the Christmas lights. Hopefully this weekend we'll go get our Christmas tree We'll get out some decorations and while I'm like putting out the nativity in the Christmas village and hanging the little things about, hopefully my husband will be putting the Christmas lights outside in the yard. Okay, let's see. I can't show you everything, 
but I wanted to show you some of the houses in our neighborhood. They just go all out. So I'm gonna start and stop as I move down the street. Um, there's this one here, they have a bunch of trees. You can kind of see in the back too. This house just did a little bit, but this is mild. I thought those are pretty. You can see they have a weird like little dragon guy in the back and an inflatable There's car. one house with some lights and a little Santa on we theirs. Have, we have one house right there with the cute little decorations. And we have another house over here. Just these two. This one is my favorite house. As you we drive by, you'll see they have gone all out. For theirs, you see that? Even look at that. This house, house just has like red and white icicles all along their eaves. Can you see that? That's that kind of nice. It has a bunch of stuff too. Look how pretty all that is. Uh, this house has a few little reindeer in front, some more inflatables. People in Oshkosh love inflatables. Just a little bit past us and they have a little bit. They have those cute little candy canes on their step. house has some lights and some trees. These are going to be the last ones I show you. They're on where I'm almost home. They have these ones here and just those over there. Nothing too exciting, but it's just so pretty. Oh, look, it looks like there's one even further down. I might drive over there and look at that too. This has some twinkly lights on top and a like dancing Santa. And then that house just over there has the blue lights. I might still drive around the block because I'm pretty sure there's one on the other side that also has some. Let me quick drive that around. One, here's one with a giant inflatable and just some regular lights. This just looks like a nice little twinkly garden with the lights and the trees. It has some, this house has some little lights around the top and some red trees, but the next house, this is this is one of my favorites in the neighborhood. This house, up. I love this house because they have that one whole wall of twinkly lights on there. Do you see that? And then I'm gonna try to move ahead so you can see the rest. Then they have like a little, um, starburst on their house, a manger scene, and then lights around the eaves and all their, they have those icicle lights that are like dripping down a little bit and twinklies. I just love this house too. house that has some lights, candy lights, and then they have another giant inflatable snowman. They used to have um, a Disney snow globe in their front yard, but now we just have the, the snowman here. Well, I'm home. I just actually filmed this while I was driving home from youth group. Don't worry, I stopped. There was no other cars on traffic. I waited till other cars were dri driving by. That's why, I mean, it took so much longer. But I actually filmed this part before I filmed the part that you saw before this. So I ended up putting them up in backwards order. But that's really all I have for Vlogmas. I opened the drawer, chatted a little bit, and then I just showed you guys the Christmas lights that we have in our town or just actually on one street, I we go all the way down to this end of our road because we live on a cul-de-sac. And then just one road before, one block before where, where I live, I went around the block so you could see that, but it's like a short half block. So I really do love seeing all those Christmas lights at home. Um, unfortunately, right now, I'm trying to move my head so you don't see all the glare. There you go. Unfortunately, right now, we don't have any Christmas lights or any decorations in our house. Hopefully we can get it done this weekend. But anyway, that's it for Vlogmas Day 7. Um, thanks for liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching and sharing my videos. And until the next video, happy crafting. Bye.